everybody, Masi here from Soul King Crew TCG. Today we're going to be bringing you a video from two new decks from the OPO2 coming out in a few weeks here. Uh, we have Black Smoker and Green Kinemon. Okay, the Black Smoker deck is uh, a deck I've been testing a lot alongside with the Whitebeard deck that we talked about in our last video. Um, and today I kind of want to show you the power of the Black deck, um, the power of being able to remove a lot off the board and be able to kind of play that controlly mid-range game that Black wants to play. Um, deck that I'm definitely going to be testing um, some more and if we can get this video to a nice number of likes I'd love to share a deck profile um, and theory craft a little bit with everybody on uh, what we think is going to be good for this deck um, and what it's going to look like going into the new set. Okay so let's dive right into the video and um, we'll see how the match went. Kinemon is definitely a scary deck knowing that he's able to drop those um, Okikus and other kind of three drop, four drop cost cards um, pretty early. He's going to drop two one drops here though. The Bonnie is something that we're going to want to deal with early. This card that we're going to drop here, Kobe, is one of the kind of best starters for us. Being able to control the board early, um, definitely a good card versus uh, decks like Zoro that are going to be pretty solid off the start of the new format. He's going to tap it down with Izo, right, being able to play for two and having the extra Dawn open so he can drop a killer after uh, taking down our Kobe. So kind of on the back foot here, but we are going to swing in first, see if we can get a damage off. He's going to take, being kind of feeling safe with his two blockers up, so we drop our new 5-drop um, 6k Sengoku. This is kind of similar to the Kuzan. Don't get the draw, but with the extra, um, I guess, cost on the card and the extra 1k power, um, it's very strong being able to swing in and minus something 4k. He's going to drop the 5 cost law here and not activate the ability. Um, doesn't really feel the need to bounce anything. Um, puts the Dawn on the killer and passes. So here we're thinking about using our Sakazuki to get rid of this 5 drop law. Kind of just deal with it um, right off the bat here. We are going to do that. Get rid of one of our event cards. Toss the Dawn on our leader. Minus the beige and kind of start trying to get these blockers out of the way so we can kind of push in for lethal sooner than we want to. Right, because we don't really want green to get into that super late game where they're able to set up their Odins and kind of just swing in multiple times. Um, very similar to green kid, right, in the sense of that late game being able to drop a huge um, character that has 8k to start, right, and you're able, and you don't have to pitch a card to restand it, you just have to pay the 3 dawn. So we see the Borsalino off the top, which makes me think, um, with just the one blocker on field, we might as well pressure the face here. Nothing too crazy to worry about. He does have a Rizo, so he can get some hand advantage, but we decide we'll swing in twice for 7k here, try to get some damage in, and drop our double blocker, leave the two open for the event, so we can hopefully in turn stop one of his attacks and keep our Sakazuki up for the crackback. Okay, our opponent's thinking about what to do. He's going to drop the new Yamato for uh, four drop 6k, tap a six or less. He's going to tap our two drop blocker here, try to swing in with the Rizo, which I thought was interesting because he's not going to get the draw here, but we're going to save it and get rid of the Izo so he can't swing in again with that. Um, and if he wants to really kill this Rosananta, he's going to have to swing at it as his leader. All right, which he does, we'll take the hit there. Sitting on the 10-drop Kuzan, we're feeling pretty confident in our late game. Now, we decide to kind of keep the control going here, keep the mid-range going. We'll take out the Momonosuke to get rid of the advantage. Okay, we'll keep the Dawn open, swing into the Rizo, get rid of the advantage, drop our 10-drop Kuzan, and get rid of the Okiku so he's not able to tap our blocker down. So here, with six cards in our opponent's hand, we notice they have two life, really. Um, it's a good idea to always keep an eye on everything your opponent has um, in their arsenal, right? So he's leaving some Dawn open. He definitely wants to drop something, right? So he's going to try to take down the Sakazuki. We're going to combo out of both attacks here just so we can keep him healthy for another swing. Um, I really like playing where if I can keep my big characters on board and just kind of punch slowly in for life, uh, while dealing with my opponent's board, it's going to end up 
being um, a pretty solid game for us. So we're going to make sure we take down the Shaman Temple, put the extra Dawn on it just to kind of make it an awkward number. Uh, we'll go 10k to lead here. He's going to take and we're going to pass, leaving the blocker up and our 10k, right? Because our 10 or our 10 drop, because our 10 drop has that static effect to minus something 5,000 um, on our turn. So if we were able to get another card here, we'll be able to easily deal with the Odin if we needed to. Okay, he's going to drop the Okiku. He's going to drop our OPO1 Yamato. Right, in case he's able to survive the crack back here, he can kind of try to threaten us without getting cards to our hand. Um, but we know that with five cards in our opponent's hand, we're going to swing in for three uh, huge attacks here. As long as this one goes through, right, we know that the next two, we can pretty much guarantee us to get in there. 10,000, if he has enough to combo out, we have another 11,000 swing. So, um, Definitely a great deck. Definitely something you should look forward to playing um, or test out, right? Remember, if we can get a certain amount of likes, we'll shoot for 10 likes on the video. Um, we'll drop the Smoker deck profile tomorrow. And um, hopefully this is a deck that you all are looking forward to because it's definitely a deck that you're going to be seeing in the format. So uh, removal is great. Always remember that. Uh, keep the board advantage. Keep your big characters up and you'll be swinging in for big numbers for games. So um, great deck. Absolutely love it, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Once again, everybody, thanks a bunch for stopping by the Soul King Crew TCG. We're going to be bringing you a bunch of new content going into OPO2, so stay tuned. Make sure you like the video and sub to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again.